Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs here, a Legion Tact Cool Cutlery with another Legion Live. And today I have a pretty awesome knife, a Lothar D2 hunting knife, or all round knife, you know. Um, I want to give a shout out to my man Common Sense Outdoors. The man tested out this knife, and this knife came through with flying colors. So you, you got to go check out his video. It's his latest one, Common Sense Outdoors. Awesome video. Um, great testing until I can get out there. He's the man to go check out and see what this knife can do because it was because of him and that video that uh, made me decide to, you know, contact the Lothar people and ask them, hey, you know, you have another reviewer over here. Would you mind sending me a knife? Which is what they did. So... Um, I want to do a Legion Live. I want you guys to check this knife out. And hopefully by next week, if I'm feeling okay, feeling up to it, I can get out in the woods and I, I really want to test this knife out uh, just as hard as Common Sense Outdoorsman did. So, all right. Let me know what you guys got in your pocket. Put it down in the comment section below or in the live. I finally got a pair of jeans on and I do have my S. Uh, our M knife, long clip point. I love this blade. This blade is excellent. Let me know what you guys are carrying in your pockets. All right. Ugh. Let me just log into the computer so I start off with some specs for you guys. And then we could take a quick look, uh, up close look at the knife. So, um, drop point configuration, full tang. Okay, we're looking at a full length length of uh, 10.2 inch with a blade length of 5.11 inch, blade thickness of 0.15 inch, and a handle thickness, uh, over here it says 0.15 inch, okay, um, and a 62 HRC. Um, it does have G10 scales, full flat grind, it has a couple of holes. It does have a lanyard hole in case you want to lash this to, you know, a stick of some sort out in the woods and make this into a spear. Um, it does come with a beautiful Kydex sheath. This is Kydex. I thought it was carbon fiber, uh, but the way they did it is beautiful. The design pattern on here, uh, you know, it's got these long oval uh, shaped holes that you could put different configurations onto your pack or vest or what have you. It's also got some holes holding together the pancake style sheath, all right, where you could, um, there's a tech lock in the back of this. I'll get to that later, but there's a tech lock that you could put left or right and in different configurations, or you could put power cord around all these holes. So very, in my opinion, a pretty thought out piece of equipment over here. Uh, let's see what other um, specifications I have here for you. I think I've got it all, all down. But yeah, I saw a Common Sense Outdoorsman take this thing outside and, you know, his video was, was really good. I mean, he did put this to the test. He was doing a lot of vertical batoning with, you know, some logs that were about the size of the blade. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he was saying to himself, oh, what am I getting myself into? But it's definitely worth a look, the, uh, the video. Because at one point, the blade is bent inside the log, you know, and it came back to true, which is awesome. And he, you know, he was able to split that log. So I thought it was a good test. He was able to do feather sticks, etc. But it was because of that video I decided, man, I got to get this. This thing is, is pretty awesome. All right, so let's take a, let's take a look at the blade. Uh, let me move this over. As you can see, this is a beautifully flat ground uh, blade. I think it looks really, really awesome. And I like the flat grind blades. Um, it is extremely sharp, very, very sharp. Okay, maybe I'll do a little paper cut test for you guys just so you get an idea. It has a sharpening choil and a little guard over here, which is pretty cool. Okay, I always appreciate a guard. It has a little bit of a protruding full tang, as you could see. All right, let me get that real close. Very nicely done. Uh, it's a little ch chafer, chamfered, I think it's called, all around it, okay, all the way around the whole knife, the full tang knife, 
and there's no hot spots, there's nothing sharp. I mean, it's really, really, really comfortable in the hand, you know, holding it in different configurations. Okay, now some, some people may think that the handle is a little bit small. That is possible. Uh, you know, again, the, uh, um, the, handle, the handle length is, you know, it, it, it fits my hand. I'll put it to you this way, but it might not fit everybody's hand. Um, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. You know, this uh, knife is about 56 bucks. Okay, and I'm, you know, what you, what you get for it I, in the D2 seal is, is pretty amazing. There's some light jimping on the top, and you can see how thick that, that uh, D2 steel is. Okay, I can't wait to go out and test it out. But you could take a look at the handle. All right, this is G10. It's got these V-shaped notches throughout the whole handle for a nice positive grip. It does have an option to remove the handles, and it's got the screws here that you could, you know, unscrew and remove the handles if need be. But so, so really nicely done. Look at that. Look at those buttons right there. And then this is nicely done too. Beautifully machined, man. Beautifully machined. Lanyard hole, protruding tang with a bit of a um, pommel crusher, okay, if you needed it. So it does have, you know, it's not sharp, but... It'll get the job done, that's for sure. Um, there's a small Lothar logo, as you guys can see, right there. So it's not too, uh, not too big, because I know some of the uh, enthusiasts out there don't like a big, huge logo on their knife. But if you're a user, not a collector, it shouldn't really matter. It does say D2 Steel on the other side, as you can see. Again, I love the shape of the blade. Now... I don't know if you guys noticed this. I, I think, unless it's my eyes, it, you know, it kind of just flares out just a little bit towards the end instead of being a very parallel type of blade. So a little bit more, maybe a little bit more belly over here, just a slight, just a tad. Um, again, it does have holes here. I guess if you wanted to lash it to a, uh, a, spear, a spear point or, you know, stick for a spear. Um, but me personally, I would just make the, the stick, a, a, you know, a spear point and just keep this in my, in my uh, hip just in case, you know, you don't want to lose this, right? But a really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blade. I mean, look at, look at how the fit and finish on this is just like fantastic, man. Um, again, another, another budget blade available to the knife enthusiast out there. That is high quality, um, goodness, man! I just, just amazing, and and it performs based on what I saw from you know Common Sense Outdoorsman. Uh, just, just an amazing video that he did. You know, um, he really put his knife to the test, and again, one of the reasons why I'm getting so I'm definitely inviting you to go visit his channel and at least go take a look. Um, of the video of him testing out this Lothar until I can get back out there and then, you know, show you my testing of this knife. So, yeah, man, really, really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautifully done, beautiful coating. Just really nice. Now let's take a look at the sheath. It's a Kydex sheath. It's a high-quality pancake-style Kydex sheath, okay? As you can see, you've got some oval holes over here, and you've got the regular holes to hold a pancake style sheath, all right? It looks like it's carbon fiber, but it's not, but they decorated it beautifully. I don't know what kind of machining they did, but that's just gorgeous, you know? Um, so you get out into the woods with class. <laughs> class and style. <laughs> but uh, it's just a really nice, really nice looking sheath. It does come with a, uh, a tech lock, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a button open. So you press it, opens up, and then you've got all kinds of different configurations that you could attach this uh, sheath to your belt. All right, and I don't know if you are if you uh, had some talent, then you could put maybe some kind of a nylon or leather loop over here if you were to make one or if you found something that would fit over here. Uh, but an, 
a really, really, in my opinion, a really, really nice sheath. Okay? It's, it's fit and finish is amazing. So you're getting the whole package over here. Now, snaps in real well. Slight rattle, nothing too, nothing too major. Let's see. Just very, very slight. It's a beautiful look to it, you know. Um, it's not too heavy. Okay, let me see what the, if there was a weight over here. Oh, the weight is 9.7 ounces, so it's not too heavy. So it, this might be a good knife for, a, you know, a hike into the woods. Definitely for camping, you know, for uh, hunting. I would take this out hunting for sure. This is a great, great package. All right. Let's uh, keep this in front of the camera so you guys take a good look. Now, for the collector who likes to collect and then keep things in a nice box, okay? This does come in a nice box with the Lothar logo, all right? It's just a simple box, but I know some of, some of the collectors, they appreciate a box. It does come with some, you know, instructions on how to take care of it, uh, your knife, and then it came with this cloth. Hey, that's, it's pretty nice. You know, again, for some of the collectors, collectors out there, you know, they love a box. So decent box. It came, it didn't come ripped because I, I have experienced some knives that I've gotten from some of these companies um, that the boxes were ripped. But again, for me, I don't care. This one didn't. It came out pretty pristine. Very nice. You can put your knife away and then put it, you know, put it in the closet. You're all set. Good to go. All right, I know there's not a lot of people on today. I know it's Friday, thank God. We've reached Friday. I hope you guys, you know, are ready to get home and uh, spend the time with your families and stuff like that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section or, you know, if, I know I see a couple of people on here. If you're interested in any other questions or you want to see something, let me know real quick. Uh, other than that, uh, troops, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that a lot more people will take a look at this knife, but just, just an amazing uh, looking knife, you know, just an amazing looking knife. And it does perform. And, uh, you know, again, shouting out Common Sense Outdoors, he took this knife to the test. And uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the comment and description section. Um, and hopefully, hopefully by next week, I will be able to hobble out into the woods and do some testing. I'm starting to, I just had had hip surgery about a little less than two weeks ago. Um, and I'm starting to slightly walk on my own. Uh, so hopefully I will get out into the woods by next week with a walking stick or something to hold me up, but I should be able to get out there next week. Uh, you know, I've been exercising and, and trying to get my hip back into shape. Um, so yeah, uh, Expects definitely expect testing on quite a few knives, and this will be on the list to be tested. And okay, and it will be tested on a hard pressure treated four inch or five inch fence post that I have. Um, and uh, for those who don't know, I was able to get a fence post that was like scraps on the bottom of the the skid at Home Depot. People didn't want what was left over at Home Depot, so I picked it up, and the thing was so heavy. And it looks so gnarly. I've said, this is it. This is perfect. And I, you can go check it out. I've done quite a few videos with, uh, you know, the same piece of wood uh, on some other knives. And it comes, you know, it's perfect. It's a perfect piece of wood. It's knotted. And I'm going to take this to the, you know, to town on that uh, piece of wood. All right, troops. So I promise that I hopefully get there next week, man. One way or another, I'm testing out this these knives, you know. All right, you know, guys, gals, I appreciate you guys taking the time to take a look. I know I do this at certain times of the day. Um, this is the way I like to do things, you know, when it comes to the live. I don't like too many people on asking me too many questions. Uh, I don't want to get overwhelmed. But, yeah, I mean, this is, this is the way I like it. And I'm glad that you were able to join me today, those who could. You know, I appreciate you guys. Um, and hopefully I'll be out there next week. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits, as always, appreciate you guys. It's Friday. Have a nice day. Be safe. Don't drink too much. Uh, I also want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. 
hashtag 22 a day no more. There are uh, active military and veterans that once they get out of the service, they do experience uh, some uh, issues. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the, uh, at the <clears throat> in the comment section and the description section below will be uh, phone numbers and websites and a heartfelt message from a Vietnam veteran, Martin Miller. Okay, um, please read Martin Miller's heartfelt message and seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. And don't forget that there will be websites and phone numbers that uh, you guys and gals can call. All right. All right, troops, legionnaires, new recruits, as always, have a great weekend. Thanks for uh, checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, uh, this video. Let me know what you guys are carrying in your pockets in the comment section below. You guys, hold the line. Take care. Bye-bye.